from Cyclone Gabrielle and a heat wave in China, across a tornado in Iowa, and a catastrophic hailstorm, we get to a massive dust storm followed by a massive blizzard. Here are our picks for the top 10 natural disasters that led to giant devastation. Number 10. Cyclone Gabrielle in New Zealand Cyclone Gabrielle hit New Zealand pretty hard. They had to declare a national state of emergency after it swept across the country. Gabrielle didn't have mercy. It destroyed everything in its path, leaving a trail of destruction and tens of thousands of people without power. I can never live in an area with a chance of such disaster. But I guess you can never expect something like this. Not only did the cyclone wash away lighter houses and flood the sturdier ones, it even managed to destroy and bring on its path in the Waiohiki Bridge in the Tudekuri River. Thankfully, many people managed to get through the shock and help the ones in need. And because there are many surfers in New Zealand, rescue missions didn't need helicopters and fancy equipment. We can even see unfazed people trying to make a small fire to make a pot of coffee. I wouldn't need coffee in bad times as well, my friends. Number 9. Heat wave in China. If you ever experience such heat that everything around melts you and you leave a trail of sweat wherever you go, well, this heat wave in China wasn't only annoying, it caused damage to the power wires and dried up water supplies, thus crippling the autumn harvest. I know some of you suffer through this each summer, but the heat in a humid environment is much worse than the heat in the desert. Chinese authorities issued a drought warning after regions from Sichuan to Shanghai recorded boiling temperatures of up to 113 degrees Fahrenheit. I mean, what do you even do in such situations? If you're a kid, you might be happy to skip school, but you can't play outside in such a scorching heat. But with the global temperature slowly rising, maybe this will be an everyday occurrence. Number 8. Tornado in Iowa Tornadoes are common in some parts of the United States. But sometimes, even the ones that experience many tornadoes meet their match. One such tornado swept through Little Rock in Arkansas. Cyclones can flood everything, but big tornadoes can pick up your dog, cow, or even your whole house. There were multiple warnings, and thankfully people managed to avoid it. But it must be devastating to see your house just being taken away without you being able to do anything. A lot of videos circle online because of some courageous or maybe even slightly crazy tornado enthusiasts. One crew of storm chasers even got too close to the tornado. It almost swept them away. Number 7. Cyclone Freddy in Malawi Malawi is a relatively poor country, landlocked in southeastern Africa. So, when they experienced a massive cyclone, Cyclone Freddy, they were left shocked and unprepared. Freddy was so strong that it went through the country, easily washing away homes, roads, and farmers' fields. More than 20,000 people had to be moved to safety as a cyclone tore through the land. Malawi has recently started to experience natural disasters often, which brought up questions about climate change and how we can prepare for when the disaster strikes and what we can do to stop it. 80% of the people in Malawi depend on the agriculture to survive, so this disaster brought everyone to their knees with effects still to come in the following years. Number 6. Catastrophic Hailstorm We are used to rainstorms, but what happens when water drops from the sky end up frozen? The answer is a hailstorm. You can't run from a hailstorm and umbrellas don't work, and they are devastating to the crops and everything else unfortunate enough to be outside. So when the Sunshine Coast in Australia was hit by a hailstorm, they needed to wait for everything to pass before assessing and repairing any damage. But it was more than anyone expected, with everything added up. The insurance council estimated $40 million in damage. Windshields shattered, windows broken, and fields devastated. Some farmers were fortunate enough to have protective nets above their fields, but the amount of ice that fell bent everything to the ground, so they suffered massive loss as well. All of this in 20 minutes, tens of millions of dollars in damage for the duration of a Seinfeld episode. Yikes! Number 5. Hurricane Michael Both tornadoes and hurricanes are strong winds that bring destruction, only with a slight difference that a hurricane's horizontal scale is about a thousand times larger than a tornado's. Cataclysmic winds of up to 140 miles per hour went through Florida, leaving everything in their path leveled to the ground. Hurricane Michael was a Category 4 hurricane, making it the biggest in the history of Florida. And if anyone is experienced with hurricanes, it is definitely Florida. 
The wind was so strong that it brought waves of water, leaving the houses that survived the destruction submerged, and turning the town of Mexico Beach into a giant fish tank. And for the residents who went on a trip without access to the internet, they returned to a completely dry town, 70% of it in shambles, wondering what the hell happened. Number 4. Massive Dust Storm This is one of the two catastrophes on our list that changed the color of the sky. An apocalyptic dust storm in Queensland, Australia turned the sky to a depressive orange color, creating a surreal atmosphere. The storm that was driven by strong winds brought with it a thick veil of dust that covered everything in its path. Many people filmed the phenomenon, but all I could think about when I watched it was how they could breathe. It can be safe for the air to be half sand, right? Although the view is otherworldly, the storm has created a layer of sediment on the ground and buildings, making another cool sighting and putting shovels into the hands of everyone in Queensland. This is how zombie apocalypse movies start. Just saying. Number 3. Massive Blizzard Now I thought these blizzards were reserved for the mountains and the movies, but a massive blizzard has completely stopped all activities in New Jersey and Delaware. Everyone was stranded in their home because of the ferocious snow mounds, making even a journey across the street virtually impossible. A couple of feet of snow made everything impassable, but unimaginably gorgeous at the same time. Trees weighed down by the snow and houses with only rooftops visible are not an everyday sight. As beautiful as they might seem, if you think it would feel nice and cozy at home, think about most of the houses being left without electricity and thus heating. But as soon as the worst passed, people gathered as one to push through this, shoveling driveways and sidewalks and checking in on the elderly and vulnerable. Number 2. Massive Lightning Storm Now I have to admit that this disaster was kinda cool as a light show. Within only a couple of hours, Washington witnessed all inspiring natural fireworks as around 1,250 lightning strikes were counted across the state, making it look like a heavy metal song video. The sudden burst of electrical activity lit up the dark sky with an intense brightness, illuminating the surroundings with a mystical glow, and leaving some people to wonder if they were dreaming. Of course, the flashes were followed by deafening thunder sounds, similar to the ones the Vikings assigned to Thor striking Mjolnir when he was mad. Many people were so mesmerized by the once-in-a-lifetime sight that they forgot about the danger they were in. We can try to tame nature, but its power is unimaginable. Number 1. Euphrates River Earthquake Our thumbnail picture of the day is gorgeous from above, but unimaginably shocking and terrifying to those who witnessed it. An earthquake causes volcano to erupt, leaving the city split in two, like a natural Berlin Wall. You can shovel the snow, put glasses on for the dust, and maybe even paddle through the water, but how the hell do you evade molten lava tumbling down the street? Also, I'd like to talk about another earthquake, but this one caused damage to the Iskenderun port, leaving hundreds of tanks on fire. Natural disaster combined with flammable man-made materials, the fire was so strong that it had to be extinguished with military planes and helicopters, leaving people only to look at the damage done. These two natural disasters could also be the signs of the impending doom. If you think that's too far-fetched, think again because the only mention of Armageddon in the Bible includes a reference to the Euphrates River drying up, and that earthquake fire at Iskenderun port also seems apocalyptic, wouldn't you agree? What do you think about this picture? Would you be calm and collected in a natural disaster? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel with the notifications on if you don't want to miss our future uploads. Till next time!